Russian troops handed four-hour life expectancy inside Ukraine's bloodiest front line. Ukrainian soldiers have reportedly said they sometimes have to fight for 10 hours in a row as the conflict intensified in Bakhmut. In the struggle for the eastern city of Bakhmut, Ukrainian troops contend that they are up against a zombie-like army up to 10 times as big as theirs. Bakhmut has once again become one of the epicenters of the war, being one of the few front lines in Ukraine where Russia remains on the offensive. Fierce battles are also raging in Volodar in eastern Ukraine's Donetsk region, as Russia intensifies pressure before the first anniversary of its invasion of the country, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said. Fierce fighting has turned the well-liked tourist site into ruins, with its 80,000 pre-war residents reduced to about 7,000 brave people who have chosen to stay despite the area being leveled by carpet bombing and hollowed down by artillery fire. The conflict has become so deadly in the east, a Ukrainian journalist who spoke to soldiers in the city's front lines of combat reportedly claimed they told her the average lifespan for mobilized fighters in Bakhmut is four hours. Ukrainian soldier Andrei told CNN, We were fighting for about 10 hours in a row, and it wasn't just like waves, it was uninterrupted. So it was just like they didn't stop coming. It was about 20 soldiers on our side, and let's say 200 from their side. He compared fighting the convict army to a zombie movie scene, adding they're climbing up the corpse of their friends, stepping on them. Andre said that a machine gunner was astounded to discover that when he shot at them, they kept moving until they bled out. It looks like it's very, very likely that they are getting some drugs before the attack. Petro Voloshenko, a Ukrainian soldier, told the AP about the fighting. Right now, there aren't enough words to explain it. It's hell on earth. <laughs> Yevgeny Pergozin, the head of Wagner and Putin's lapdog, shut down rumors that Ukrainian soldiers were fleeing the city by making a rare admission of reality in a telegram post. He confirmed in a statement, the Ukrainian armed forces are not retreating, they are fighting up to the last ditch. The British Defense Ministry stated that Russia has made small advances in its quest to encircle the city, but military analysts claim Bakhmut is close to a tipping point. The fierce fighting comes as Ukrainian officials are bracing themselves for what it believes would be a Russian spring onslaught to mark the anniversary of its invasion of Ukraine on February 24. 500,000 conscripted soldiers are reportedly gathering on the border in preparation for an assault on the eastern and southern fronts, according to sources from Ukraine's military intelligence. Granat! Recently, Russia losing 500 soldiers a day. As Putin sets date for plans for victory, Russia's major spring offensive may already be underway, according to Western open source intelligence groups, with concentrations of Putin's special forces, VDVs, spotted in the eastern regions of Donetsk and Luhansk. Russia is losing 500 killed and wounded every day, in their attempts to take the eastern city of Bakhmut, a Ukrainian official has claimed, as President Volodymyr Zelensky wanted that Putin is planning something symbolic for the anniversary of his invasion on February 24. Ukrainian Defense Minister Alexei Reznikov said on Sunday that the fighting for Bakhmut had reached a critical stage as reports suggested VDV units had arrived to bolster Wagner Group's attempts to take the city.
The increased efforts suggest Russia's anticipated spring offensive could already be underway, with Andrei Cherniak, a spokesman for Ukraine's military intelligence, claiming that Vladimir Putin has ordered the capture of the entire Donbass, comprising the eastern Donbass and Luhansk regions by March. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 